Japanese knotweed is one of the most damaging invasive weeds in Britain. Since it was introduced from Asia in the mid-19th century, it has caused hundreds of millions of pounds worth of damage to buildings, roads and railways as it grows a metre a month, pushing through tarmac and concrete. If attempted, the cost of control in the UK using current control methods, such as chemical sprays, is estimated at over one and a half billion pounds. But scientists at CAB International in Surrey think they may have come up with a natural solution. After years of testing potential live control agents, a tiny insect called a psyllid has been found to stifle the weed's growth, and it is set to be released across the country. Project manager Dick Shaw explains how the psyllid will control the pest. A lot of people think that the, the strength of the plant is in the rhizome, is this big sort of iceberg below the, below the surface of the soil that provides the, the nutrients and support for the plant. But what the psyllid does is it sucks the sap from the upper parts of the plant, and that prevents or limits the amount of nutrients and material going back down to the rhizome. So if you can keep sucking the life out of it, there's less going down to the soil for the next year. Scientists at CAB International first found the psyllid in 2000 and have been testing its safety ever since. Set to be released this spring, Dick Shaw and his team are positive that the psyllid won't have a detrimental effect on plant species native to Britain. Part of the six years of testing that we did was um, testing its speeding and development on 90 selected species of plant that exist in Britain. Um, and those have been carefully selected, very closely related ones working out on a centrifugal system, circle after circle of relatedness. And that's shown us that it's really is a knotweed specialist. Although the psyllid won't completely eradicate its host, it should suppress its growth to below an economic threshold, minimising the costs of its destruction. But it may take a while before we notice any visible results. If we're lucky, the effect should be seen pretty rapidly. Within months, you should actually see a, an impact on the plant. But biocontrol is a very long strategy. It's, a, it's not a short, short game. So it, some biocontrol programs can take five to ten years to get real, uh, real impact. But we'd like to see local effects within a year or two. The introduction of the insect will be the first time that biocontrol has been used in Europe to fight a weed. If successful, the experiment could set a precedent for future releases. The, the, the biocontrol programme against Japanese knotweed should open the doors to not just biocontrol of knotweed in Europe, but other invasive species that exist there already. Um, I know they're very, very keen on watching the project very, very closely, and I anticipate um, further use in Europe. Experts advise to carry on with traditional control methods until the psyllid's effects become noticeable. But the bugs will start spreading through the country any day now and should reach a knotweed near you in five to ten years' time.